Hello there everybody, it's Shrouded Hand here and this is a time-lapse video of me building a go-karts but to keep it in theme with the channel it's going to be a sort of ghost train type of thing. The theming of it's going to be all spooky but it's actually going to be a go-karts ride so it sounds a bit different. I thought it'd be fun to try and it's going to be kind of like a, I think they're going to be racing around a haunted mansion. Around and outside a haunted mansion I should say. So yeah, here we go. I actually built the uh, the ride the wrong way around at the beginning. So this bit here where I'm building the um, where the ride operator goes, I'm going to change that a bit later on and put some like bone theming around the uh, the archway there. I like these big sort of weird bone shapes. I'm trying to find some skulls to put on here as well. So uh, yeah, some skulls, some animal skulls, and and then I'm going to put some candles on top of them as well. Very exciting. <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, going to clone these windows just to make the exterior look a bit more realistic. And, uh, put a doorway in, and then what I'm putting behind here is some TV screens and. I've got some like gifts that I've imported into the game and these eyeball ones look really good if you put them in a window. So, I don't know what the gifts are from, but uh actually they might be from um there's like a Hitchcock movie with that sort of scene in it. I think it's like a dream scene with some weird eyeballs. And yeah, I've had to move the entire house away from the rides to try and uh, fix the, the placement of the entrance there. As you can see the ride operators now moved to the other side. This is going to be kind of like the balcony, so I'm putting more of these bones around here. That's going to be like the outdoor part of the ride up there. What happens is they drive from the outdoors, then they go into the house. And then a bit later on they come out of the house upstairs and drive around the kind of balcony area. This is kind of going to, I don't know, it's kind of, I want it to look a bit like a cellar. It's going to be sort of a, I don't know, a garage area. <laughs> And just adding a bit of theme in here. This kind of kind of look like a gallows. I put a bit of rope on there, and sadly there isn't really any human figures just hanging there. So I've put a skull on the end, and then I try and look for something to attach the skull to. Get up for a, up for a spade in the end. Yeah, that's it. There's a bit of a jump cut here because I forgot to record it, but. <laughs> I put some other skeleton parts underneath the skull to make it look like there'd been some kind of accident. <laughs> and we're just going to take a look, quick look around the entrance as it looks at the minute. See that window's empty now, but I put some cobwebs behind it. I've stuck some cobwebs on the wall. And um, yeah, I'm not sure about the spikes on the on the track there because I'm not sure whether I'll be able to sync it up with the ride. Um, I want it to sort of detract the. the Specs to retract when the riders start going around the track, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to set it up like that with a ride like this. And then, I've, and because I've moved the uh, ride operator, I've put him over this side, and I've started to build like I don't even know what this is. I wanted it to look like he was in some kind of torture device, so he's kind of in a coffin which is caged in. And yeah, I don't, I, don't, I really don't know what this is. A crypt, maybe. I spent I spent way too long building it for something that I don't know what it actually is. I think it looks kind of interesting in the end, but yeah, no idea. It's just a kind of circle of coffins, upright coffins with a, a cider press stuck on the top of it. There we go, good. Good stuff. Not much to say about this, I'm just sort of placing a load of brick things down. Not too exciting. Are we done? Are we done with this bit? Nope, no, nope, a bit more adjustment. Yeah. A good, a good 75 hours spent on this uh, small, small little uh, bit at the beginning of the ride. And I'm building some like. That's going to be the external wall there, so you can see where they go in and then where they come out again. Make 
the entrance look nice in this. Most of this episode is building the entrance to the ride. I know a lot of ghost trains, it's all about the entrance, really. Once you get into the ride, there's hardly anything actually inside the ride. It's all about the the entrance to it. But this one's going to have some nice stuff in the interior as well. And there's, I don't know if you saw what I built there, with some like swinging blades. So I'll see them at the end anyway. I'll do a little tour with not doing a time lapse. There's some like swinging blades going across the top of the heads of the riders. And there, I forgot to actually record the building of that. It's kind of a, I, I kind of wanted to have like a furnace or some kind of engine going on inside this area. So uh, yeah, that's what I started to build. But there is a bit more scenery to come. There's the the fire to the furnace, and uh, I'll put some nice animatronics in here to make it look like this. Yeah, tell a story with the ride, and the story is that there's a, a woman burning horribly alive, and there's a guy on the other side digging fuel into the fire. I don't know whether he's oblivious to the woman burning alive or whether he's doing it on purpose, but I spend a lot of time placing down like these newspapers to make it look like he's burning, I don't know what, evidence? Newspaper, maybe he's brought up all the newspaper articles about his murder and he's chucking them in there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the story is. You can make up your own story about this ride. A bit of scenery around here. See the upper part of that building is a bit too thin, but I might put something in there. Some kind of weird skull ornament for the front of the ride. And uh, I spent a lot of time on this little little sort of carriage area. And the upper floor. I don't really know what I'm going to do up here. I do start putting some things in at the end, and uh, I start to get an idea for something we'll see later on. But this is just a little bit of decoration, just to make it look more solid, more realistic. Batwing. Oh yeah, and I spent ages trying to build some kind of... I don't know what I was trying to do with this crocodile. Some kind of eldritch horror, but... It didn't work out. I, I, yeah. I, after a while, I realised it looked stupid and just deleted it and put these spinning spike trap things in instead. More fitting with the theme of the ride, really. I don't know what I was trying to do with that alligator. It was a bad idea. Yeah, spinning spike traps. And then what I what I completely forgot was that spinning spinning spike traps have something underneath them, which we'll see goes right down into the bottom part of the ride, so... I put these knights on there. I don't know why, really. I just kind of like the look of them. I thought it'd be interesting to have some knights fighting perilously on the edge of the building. And then, yeah, you can see these things underneath. They kind of look like teeth, so what I was trying to do with these art shapes was recreate the teeth and make them extend to make the interior look more like a mouth. But, um, yeah, I really don't like how these... These shapes have turned out. I'm gonna delete them after <laughs> on the next time I build. <laughs> yeah, I just, they just don't match. I'm trying to try and find something else. So I'm trying to I'm trying to match the the bottom of those trap pieces, but it didn't really work out. I spent way too much time building these things. So yeah, they're getting deleted next time. Oh, the time I've wasted. The time I wasted building these. Okay. That's pretty much Alright, so let's take a look at this. How it looks currently. So, yeah. This looks like a building site. Which is uh, kind of apt, I guess. Because it's in the middle of a building. So, yeah. It's looking okay. Like this little area here that I've built. Let's go have a look in here. Just want to take a quick look at everything. The guy shoving the newspapers into the furnace with the burning woman. And then we'll go have a look out here. Still not sure about these spikes, whether I'll be able to sync them up properly. 
because the ride isn't on a track. And we've got this area here, this little skeleton thing. I don't know what the story is here. I think it's that the guy who was climbing the ladder fell off and somehow got his head stuck on a it doesn't, wouldn't even make sense, would it? How would how would that even happen? That's the mystery of the whole thing. And uh, let's have a look. We've got our weird eyes in there. And then our um, ticket booth guy, or whatever he is. I don't know what you call him. The ride operator, I suppose. Using his little coffin cage. And then I'm probably going to put... I just realised there's no coffin in there. But all around here, this is a little thing. I might put like skeletons or animatronic people in these coffins. And also, I kind of wanted to have blood flowing around the the channel here, and maybe up at the top as well. And uh, up here, I quite like these knights having a fight. It gives it a kind of dark soulsy feel. I might, I might have like a little sort of make it even more Dark Souls feeling by having a little um, I don't know, like a, like a castle type of area here uh, and then because I placed these traps here it has made these weird teeth well, I guess uh, to me they look like teeth that's just the bottom of the trap and I did try and recreate them over here but I really don't like this. I'm probably going to delete these boxes on the next episode. These ones are okay, these can stay, but these things don't look right. And what I might do is turn this into a mouth so it looks like you're driving through the mouth or something and that's the teeth. So yeah, I'll try and find something else on the next build, next part of the build. It will look a bit like these you know, like these boxes don't look like these, they don't match up. So I'll try and find something else that matches these a bit better and um, make it look more like you're driving through an actual mouth. It'll kind of, it kind of reminds me of um, if you've ever played the game Splatterhouse, but the the more modern Splatterhouse game, it was like on the Xbox 360 and things like that. There was a part where the mansion you're going through was coming alive and it was sort of turning half organic and there was all bits of like hearts and things and it's kind of maybe that'll be the sort of part of it it's as if the house is coming alive and then we go up here and we've got the the traps I need to get some people actually riding the ride so I can check to see if these saws are hitting the people's heads as they drive through or not I want it just sort of swinging over their heads, not actually hitting them. And uh, yeah, the, the rest of the ride needs a bit of building. Now this is all going to be outdoors from here, and then around here, and then you go back inside the house, and then I'm going to sort of build up the mansion up here so it looks kind of tall, like an an old sort of, I don't know, sort of thing you see in old like horror movies and things, like an old creepy mansion. Thanks for watching the first part of this build. I know it's not really a horror game planet coaster but i guess it counts because i'm building a scary ride so um and planet coaster is one of my favorite games ever so yeah i like i like simulation game. i like horror games and i like simulation type of games and management type of games so anything that lets you sort of build things so i might do some more games like this as long as i'm building something scary so hope you enjoyed and catch you on the next video Thank you very much for watching.